This movie describes how to use the activity bug multiplication, multiplication as scaling. Here we have a circle of bugs. There are 10 bugs in all. I'll enter 10 into this box and I'll click outside the box. Now I'm going to press multiply. Watch what happens with each bug. Each bug splits into five bugs. So what number did they multiply by? Five. Now I'm going to press scatter. My bugs begin to swarm around the screen. How many bugs in total are there? Well, it's really hard to count right now with the bugs all moving, but there were 10 bugs at first and they multiplied by five, so I think there are 50 bugs altogether. Just to check, I'm going to press fly home. And again, I see 10 groups of bugs with five bugs in each group. So I think 50 is correct. And when I click outside this box, I see that indeed I am correct. And I received a score of 10 points for the first problem. Now I can move on to the second problem by pressing next problem. And this time I have a different number of bugs to start. I have eight bugs. And again, each of those bugs split into five bugs and then they scattered around the screen. So I could enter these three numbers again and see if I got the answer correct. Now when I'm done with this game, which consists of 10 problems, I can move on to a new game. And for the first game, all of our multipliers were five. Each bug split into five bugs, and we saw every multiplication fact from one times five all the way up to 10 times five. For our next game, perhaps we'd like to explore multipliers of three. I'll change this five to a three, and then press new game. Now when my bugs split, they split into three. And when we play the second game, we will see all the multiples of three from one times three up to 10 times three. So this explains how to play bug multiplication.